in this complex number session 14 we are going to discuss about modulus and inequality maximum value and minimum value for a modulus right for this let us consider a problem that is modulus of z minus 2 by z value is given as 2 and we have to find maximum and minimum value for modulus of z we can do this in many method or methods but we are going to follow a little bit long procedure uh, to understand the concept in a deeper way right you know a property that is modulus of z1 minus z2 is greater than or equal to modulus of z2 minus modulus of z2 that is if you split a single modulus into two moduluses surely the splitted value will be lesser so we are going to follow the same method we are going to split this complex numbers modulus into two modulus if we do so surely the side value will be lesser than this two and you have to take absolute value for this right so we are going to take absolute value and we are going to split this modulus into two moduluses so our answer will be like this so as we know if we split a single modulus into two modulus like this in subtraction surely the splitted modulus will be lesser so the splitted modulus is lesser now right now here two case arises the first case this may be a bigger one this may be a smaller one if it is bigger and if it is smaller then the answer will be positive no need of worrying about this because the same answer will be coming out if it is negative you have to change the sign so the first case it is greater it is smaller so our answer is a positive one we can place it as it is in case if it is smaller if it is bigger then the answer will be a negative one then for this part you have to put minus sign in the front because uh, if it is smaller and if it is bigger the answer will be a negative one for example if the value is minus one you should not keep that minus one as it is because you have to take absolute value for that the minus one will become plus one to make the minus one as plus one we have to put a minus in the front these two things we are going to do first case this is a bigger one this is a smaller one so no need of worrying the result is a positive one no need of changing anything we can write this as it is you know modulus of z1 by z2 is nothing but modulus of z1 by modulus of z2 so if you take modulus to this number 2 your answer will be 2 and this will become modulus of z so it becomes like this now let's take lcm if you take lcm it will become modulus of z square minus 2 by modulus of z that is less than or equal to 2 now if this is it comes this side it will become 2 is it 2 into modulus of z and if this plus part of 2 into modulus of z if it goes this side it will become minus 2 into modulus of z and for this minus 2 the same as it is and the inequality is less than or equal to 0 we have to solve this equation and we have to get the value of modulus of z let us uh, keep this modulus of z value as t hence the equation will be t square minus 2 t minus 2 less than or equal to 0 this is our first case let us go to the next case as i told you if this is smaller and if this is bigger then the result inside this absolute value will be a negative one but 
when it comes out of this absolute value it should be converted as positive one so to convert a negative one as a positive one we have to add minus so in this case two uh, we are considering this part as a bigger part and this part as a smaller part so it becomes a negative one to make this as a positive one we are adding a minus in the front so for this value we have added minus right let's make this mine let us change the sign on both side if you change sign on both side to inequality then inequality should also be changed in the sign that is modulus of z minus 2 by modulus of z this less than or equal to is converted into greater than or equal to this plus 2 becomes minus 2 now let us take lcm that is modulus of z square minus 2 by modulus of z is greater than or equal to minus 2 now if this modulus of z goes that side it will becomes become like this modulus of z square minus 2 is greater than or equal to minus 2 into modulus of z let us make this minus 2 into modulus of z to come this side left side that is modulus of z square plus 2 into modulus of z minus 2 is greater than or equal to 0 uh, as in the first case let us make this modulus of z as t so we'll get another one equation t square plus 2t minus 2 greater than or equal to 0 now we are going to solve these two equations one is less than or equal to inequality another one is greater than or equal to inequality right let us try to solve these two equations right let us consider the first equation this is a quadratic equation so to solve this we need a formula that is minus b plus r minus root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a here a is nothing but coefficient of t square and b is nothing but coefficient of t and c is nothing but constant term. so we have written that value let us try to substitute these values in this equation so your answer will become like this that is minus b that is minus of this b value minus 2 plus or minus root of b square minus 2 the whole square minus 4 into a into c value if you simplify it your answer will become like this 2 plus or minus square root of 4 plus 8 by 2 that is 2 plus or minus square root of 12 by 2 12 can be written as 4 into 3 if you take root to the number 4 your answer will become 2 so the answer will be 2 plus or minus 2 into root 3 by 2 if you take 2 commonly outside and if you cut the both your answer will be 1 plus or minus root 3 right so we have answer for this t value that is modulus of z value but the condition says it is an inequality it should be less than or equal to 0 so to satisfy this you know the logic that is when a quadratic equation is in the inequality of less than or equal to 0 then the result or answer for this problem will be answer for this problem will be inside these two values not outside these two values inside these two values so your modulus of z belongs to the smaller number that is 1 minus root 3 and up to 1 plus root 3 it starts from here and it completes up to this this should be a square bracket that is a closed uh, interval right now let us try to plot this in a graph in a number line that is 1 minus root 3 means root 3 is 1.732 so 1 minus 1.732 is uh, minus 0 0.732 like this so it will be somewhat here right negative side and 1 plus root 3 that is root 3 value is 1.732 so 1 plus 1.732 will be 2 points something uh, this is 1 this is 2 so 2 point something it will be here right so your minus 0 0.732 lies here and plus 2.732 lies here so this is your z1 sorry 
this is 1 minus root 3 and this is 1 plus root 3. So this value lies between these two points in this interval. Let us keep this as our first part. So case 1 is over. Now let's go to the case 2 that is greater than or equal to problem. Let us try to solve this quadratic equation in the same way. Here a value is 1 and b value is 2 and c value is minus 2. If we substitute all these values in this quadratic equation, it will become minus 2 plus or minus 2 square minus 4 into instead of a 1 instead of c outright minus 2. So your answer will be like this. That is minus into minus becomes plus. So the answer will be 4 plus 8 inside the square root. So this is minus 2 plus r minus square root of 4 plus 8 by 2. And if we simplify, uh, the answer will be minus 2 plus r minus square root of 12 by 2. As I told you, 12 can be written as uh, 4 into 3. So 2 root 3. So the net result will be minus 1 plus r minus root 3. Because if you take 2 commonly outside, uh, 2 will be cancelled. So here we have received two answers. One answer is minus 1 minus root 3. Another answer is minus 1 plus root 3. But since it, this inequality is greater than or equal to, it indicates the value inside this interval will not satisfy this equation. So the values which lies outside this interval only will satisfy this equation because this is a greater than or equal to inequality. So let us mark the two points, the minimum point as well as the maximum point. Uh, your minimum value is minus 1 minus root 3. That is minus 1 minus 1.732. That is minus 2.732. It lies here. This is that point. Right. The next point is minus 1 plus root 3. That is 1.732 minus 1. That is 0 0.732. 0 0.732, it will be here. Plus 0 0.732. Right. Because minus 1 plus 1.732. Minus 1 plus 1.732 will be plus 0 0.732. It will be here. So let us try to mark these two points. So this is your minus 1, minus root 3. The another point is minus 1 plus root 3. That is this point. As I told you, the value lies outside this interval, not inside this interval, because of this greater than or equal to symbol. So the solution is in this interval it goes up to infinity and it lies here and it goes up to infinity because since the inequality is greater than or equal to zero it will not lie inside this interval it will lie only outside the interval so our first case answer is this our second case answer is this now we have to search for solution which satisfies this condition as well as this condition. The only part which is common to this first case and the second case is from here to here alone. Am I correct? Here to here alone. So this is what the value that can be obtained by modulus of is it even though there is no need of marking this area because modulus of z value is always positive we can consider only the positive value but for the clearance i have written the whole thing here so our answer will be from this place to this place which is common to the second case as well as the first case this is what that interval so our value lies between these two intervals that is it lies between minus 1 plus root 3 this point as well as this point 
that is 1 plus root 3. So, this is your minimum value, this is your maximum value. So, modulus of z minimum value is minus 1 plus root 3 and modulus of z maximum value is 1 plus root 3. I hope so you would have understood this. Practice this type of problems more and more and you can learn very easily. Thank you.